Hi everyone, thought uh, I'd like to take a look at this new device that I built. <clears throat> I'm uh, preparing to refine some silver at my house as a hobby and I've uh, been researching it for about the last six months or so and understand to the point where uh, I want to take precautions when I use nitric acid because of the fumes that it produces. Apparently they're very toxic and I've uh, read repeatedly that you're supposed to be doing this outside or using a fume hood. So I decided I'm going to do both. So I built myself a rudimentary fume hood with some parts I had scattered around in my garage. And uh, this is water boiling right now. I'm just testing it. But um, what it is, it's a high powered leaf blower that I got at Goodwill for about five dollars. And I connected some PVC pipe over here. Here you can actually see some of the fumes coming out. I don't even have it turned on yet. Um, I created some just ply some heavy plywood mount put in a couple of uh, bolts through the middle to hold it in place, put a little brace here to lift it up above the table and I built a workbench. Let me back up and see if I can get all this in there. And built a workbench <clears throat> that I can do all my uh, chemistry in. So this is on the back porch of my house. And you can see here that I've got um, just a cheap burner that I picked up at a chemical supply house. I've got a flask with some boiling water that I'm do using just to test the uh, test how it works and actually it works even when the motor's not turned on you can I don't know if you can see that there's fumes coming out of it right now let's see if I can show you if I lift the, put the camera up in there I'm not sure you'll be able to see that very well but so it works even when the motor's not turned on and ideally when I'm using nitric acid I'm going to turn this thing on so you won't be able to hear me after I turn this on so here it goes <laughs> Up pretty strong. I can actually it comes out pretty strong and it sucks up every last bit of vapor out of that flask. So I'm pretty confident that it's uh, not going to be hanging around the flask where I'll be working. Uh, the one last part of this, I'm going to clean up these these electrical cables. Probably just uh, or we mount them down here and run the cables down here so they're kind of out of the way. I may even permanently mount the the burner. I'm not sure. I'm going to use it for a few weeks to see what happens. <laughs> I might have to replace those if I have spillovers. And then lastly, I'm going to attach a flexible pipe onto the end of this. And I'm going to run it up about 10 feet up the side of my house. I'm just going to hold it in place with some rubber strapping so my wife doesn't kill me. And that should keep the, the vapors from um, way out there. So they should go up about um, 10 or 12 feet in the air, maybe even further with the high power of the of the leaf blower, and um, you know that I think that'll provide a fair amount of safety for what I'm doing. And of course I'll be wearing goggles and splash guard, face mask, gloves, the whole bit. Um, so just trying to maximize uh, the safety that I that I have in place here before I begin. So if all goes well, I'm gonna. Uh, finish this over the weekend and I'll start doing my first refining batch um, come Monday. So anyway, hope you guys uh, get some good ideas on this. If you have some suggestions, critiques, um, appreciate hearing them. Uh, this took me about four hours to build all together. Cost maybe oh, twenty dollars in parts, maybe thirty dollars. Um, and this is something that anybody with, with a you know, fair amount of tools and know-how can build and I think it provides a lot of safety for people who are doing this for a hobby. Take care.